Where do you think the Joe Budden podcast stands in 2024? There's a lot of interesting things happening. Queens Flip just got suspended for almost a whole month. He's talking crazy mm -hmm. on the pod. He's threatening to fight me again. And he's threatening to fight other YouTube YouTubers. Shout out to Dubs with the files. I think the podcast has been terrible. I think the podcast has left a lot to be desired. Um, it could be it's just the summer months and people are calling out. The Patreon is very mm -hmm. lackluster. It seems like there's more of a concerted effort not to talk about podcasting. But what are your thoughts? Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the leader of the Brokey, so I just get two episodes a week. Uh, I've kind of learned to kind of take my critiques with Joe and also just the fact that I just enjoy having it as background noise as well. Mm. Uh, when I get into my critiques of Joe, I do feel like he's holding the show hostage a little bit in regards to them not being able to get their shit off about him. I think when that comes off uh, about, he wants to end that or make it very limited. Because if you remember those days when the podcast was ending with Rory and Maul, literally it would be whole episodes where they would just shit on Joe. Like it would, that would literally what it would come down to. The show literally would become, hey, let me tell you some stuff I did as a pseudo famous person and Rory and Maul just shit on it for two hours, which I'm always here for. Was great. Uh, but I think that there is a stranglehold he has on the content creators. I think that's why we saw Flip out for that time, even though I personally am not a fan of Flip. I enjoy when he's away. Um, <laughs> I think that's another reason why, because of their conflict and him trying to stand on whatever he wants to stand on. Uh, but overall, I think the production, you're probably going to not think I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm crazy. I'll probably say it's a little bit under Rory and Maul, just from what I, the feeling I get after I listen to an episode. I'm very much higher on a Roy Maul episode than I am on a Joe episode. So I would say B minus, maybe C plus. I think what it is is I feel like the Rory and Maul fabric feels more like the Joe Budden podcast with Rory and Maul, mm -hmm. whereas Joe Budden feels like so far removed from those days. But I'm going to give it a lower grade just because of the lack of enthusiasm being shown by members of the show, which itself is reflected in how Joe Budden has been talking to his co-hosts. Like, y'all not giving it up. I see y'all mm -hmm. not. This is what he's saying to his co-hosts. Flip being suspended. I would give it a C minus, bordering on D territory. Um, I, stu I still think the variance, the highs it can get to are higher than Rory and Maul, just because Joe mm -hmm. can get messy. And he is from the school of Mona Scott Young and reality TV. But... Yep. A lot is left to be desired. I feel like they need to remove things. I was going to say another word, but they need to rearrange things and kind of think about <laughs> what to do. And and um, Melissa Ford-ish, Ice, I don't know. I think at one point we're going to have to see what happens with Flip. But what do you think about Flip? It feels like ever since he came back off of suspension, there's just this weird undertone of like, I got slapped around. I can't, you know, like when the kid acts up, he gets slapped in the face, and he had. I gotta stop making analogies because then you don't say that I, I crossed the line. But it's just they can't keep up with him, so you confuse him. So <laughs> you gotta. Him. All right, so yeah, it's clear. It feels to be like Flip overplayed his hand, and mm -hmm. now you have Flip talking about improper improv is coming back. Stop talking about improper improv. I I'm so tired of you talking about improper improv. Like you say, it's been coming back for a year and a half. It was great. It mm -hmm. was. It wasn't even great. It was good, but to tease it to this level, it's annoying to the fan base. Like, stop, flip, please, stop, stop. Did, did you see Ian's tweet? Oh yeah, that was crazy. How are you gonna Talk go two percent less after a week? He ain't gotta That's be nuts. He ain't gotta be done with flip, man. Yeah, he he gotta be playing with him. He just he's egging them all. He got. I be. think they're probably gonna bring it back. Well. Flip says he wants to do IRL, which is, I guess, in real life mm -hmm. streaming. I guess that's in the vein of, well, who else does that? Like Neon, right? Neon. Where, yep. Neon, Jack Dorsey or Dorset or whatever his name is. A lot of guys do that now. Where you just walk in in the street and you're just like, oh. Yeah. It's basically live vlogging. Neon got into a fight. <laughs> yeah, be like, that, that's, I think that's all, what, all it was was him next to people fighting. Yeah, exactly. And I think... Maybe that could be a, a big deal. It could be a leverage play. But, yeah, I feel like Ian and Flip have – I mean, I was making this analogy the other day. Ian and Flip have that relationship of the supervisor at your job who you think you outsmarting, but mm -hmm. 
they know when you're leaving. They know exactly when you, and then you're going to go into a meeting one day and they're going to have the time logs of when you logged on to your Gmail. They're going to be like, oh, we saw that you went to the bathroom for a couple hours. I don't know, Flip. I think um, you have to shape up or you need to leave. And I feel like Flip thinks he's getting over on Ian. And it's like, this is not Flip mm-hmm. the Network, dog. Yeah. I, again, I've never been a fan of Flip. Again, my, my history of Flip has been documented by your channel. Yes. Um, so, you know, if you guys want to check out that, you definitely go to the stop and see that. But um, I, I was never a fan of Flip. I've always felt like Flip Street uh, conversations are something that maybe should be a minimum, maybe once a month. I'm not a fan of him as a full-time person on the show. Mm. I don't think he has the range to keep up with a lot of the conversations. I think when he does keep up with the conversation, he finds himself very empty because he doesn't really have anything to say. He doesn't have anything to say in his skits that he's trying to now change to long-form content. No skip, no flip. They're skits. You are a uh, background actor, okay? Just accept it. But <laughs> I, again, I think that his spot on the show should be limited. I think he should only be maybe once a month where we get a, a flip uh segment let him go out uh the city of new york with his camera crew and act a fool uh joseph let's keep it a little more decorum at the at the podcast and i think we can find other ways to liven things up and make it more interesting than putting a buffoon um on us for four episodes a week jesus all right so you gave (laughs) you just a wrap of this segment you gave joe budden's podcast a c plus c minus uh, B minus C plus. Okay, B minus C. I gave him a C minus borderline D. 